So yeah, the menu... The menu is a... different. Quite different. But, um... Yeah, as you can see, I have Thief. I rented the game. I don't own it, so... Thief is a fun game, too. I like it. Um, surprisingly created by Square Enix, what was, it took surprise to me, since the games they normally create are like Final Fantasy and um, Kingdom Hearts, and those are the only games I'm aware of that are Square Enix are created. So, this was this was an interesting twist on my expectations, I'll say that. Um, I have issues, like telling whether someone's online or not through my friends list, but... Like, if, if I'm on PS3, I really can't tell if someone's on a PS4 or not, so... Yeah, that's an issue. Of course, not that bad of an issue. So, it doesn't really matter to me, because I have a PS4, so... I can just tell who's on PS4 by going on the PS4. At last, that game. Look at that face. Okay, um... There's another cool feature in here, which is kind of sort of like the, what the Wii U does. Um, it's, you can switch the game onto the Vita, and basically play the PS4 on the Vita. It's not like that stupid PS3 remote play, where it has terrible connection, and it's so slow to go through the menu and stuff, and you can't even play games on it, but, um... You can actually play the games. It's a little hard to get. It's hard to little, a little hard to control the games, but you get used to it. You'll find your. You find out how to do it and shit. And there's also a second screen mode, which I have yet to fit, um, do. So I'm not sure what it's about. I apologize. I'm not planning that much information. But anyways, um, I would like to show it to you, but I'm recording with the Vita, so I can't show you stuff the Vita can do with it on while I'm recording with the Vita, so, yeah, that sucks, um, because I don't have a real video camera, because I suck with money, um, but yeah, I'm not going to play a game, I know, I'm sorry, but, um, no, I can't do those, get that game time stuff again, I apologize, I can't go back to that, those were just terrible, but, um, this is what it looks like, the menu, I'm falling over here, um, I keep losing my. All right, I gotta stop. I just stand still. So yeah, this is the inside of the PS4. Yeah, that's basically all. I, that's basically it. All I'm gonna show you. Well, that's basically the PS4 in a nutshell. And I'm sorry if I didn't provide you with the information you're looking for. If you want more advanced information, you can just take a look about at it online. Um, but what's cool feature about the PS4 is that if you have like, you can download multiple things at once. And well, at least for me, <coughs> I don't know if other people have this problem. Well, it's not a problem. I don't. Know if, I don't know if other people can do this, but I downloaded like three games at once one time, and, well, not three games, two games, DC Universe Online and Warframe, but I was downloading them all at once, and they were going the same speed as if they were downloading, like, alone. I don't know if that makes sense, but I, having multiple things downloading doesn't slow down the download speed, at least for me, it doesn't. I don't know if other people have that thing, have that issue, but it doesn't slow anything down for me. Um, but yeah, the PS4 is a great system, and I really recommend it to, well, anyone who's a gamer. Plus, the lineup of awesome video games. Metal Gear Solid Five coming out, Ground Zeroes, I pre-ordered that. Um... They even announced that the PS4 is going to have better graphics than the Xbox One version. And I know the graphics seem to be all the rage these days, and the main view, the main 
you know, objective, but for me, it's the gameplay and the games. Like, Killzone, Infamous is coming out, that, I pre-ordered that, Collector's Edition, I can't wait to get that, Infamous, I'm, Infamous is my favorite game, a huge Infamous fan. Um, I hear that Capcom stopped making Devil May Cry games. I don't know why. I think it's because it's the last game they came out with, which I didn't think was that bad. I mean, the outfits I thought were cool, but I do agree that the characters... Mm, but I didn't think it was that bad of a game. The gameplay-wise, at least, makes it terrific. And the story I liked. But... I don't know. Hopefully the rumor isn't true. Capcom is going to continue, but if they don't, well, I'm sad. <laughs> but and then another Sly Cooper game coming out. Hopefully, uh, cause spoiler alert, um, kind of. But it, there's a massive cliffhanger in Sly Four: Thieves in Time where Sly is at the, was is in like is in the middle of the desert at a different time so and then just end it like that so it's like they have to do something with that they can't just leave it at that they need to have another game to continue it and Sinzaru games did an amazing job with thieves in time cuz normally when another company gets their hands on a video game they kind of ruin it like in like when insomniac games stop making spyro mm. I just won't even go there <sighs> or like when naughty dog stopped making crash bandicoot games But, Sanzaru picked up where Sucker Punch left off. And that was fantastic. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for a Sly 5, if there is going to be one, which I really think there is. And also, Sly Cooper movie coming out in 2016, along with um, Ratchet and Clank movie coming out in 2015. So, yeah, um... I also heard something about a Heavenly Sword movie. I don't know this for sure, which is a thing. But yeah, a lot of PlayStation games are coming into movies, which makes me happy. Because PlayStation is a kick-ass franchise. also heard of a Twisted Metal movie. Hopefully. Oh god, Twisted Metal for the PS4. I can only imagine how that is. The PS3 version was amazing. But, yeah, I'm just... In Ratchet and Clank for the PS4 games. Uh, lineup of games. Amazing games. Uncharted, they've already announced that for a PS4. But, yeah. PS4. I'm a PlayStation gamer. I'm a PlayStation fan. And I'm also Shupa21, signing out.